Any plans for MM runs soon? Nope. I might want to do another MM rando soon though. I actually had a lot of fun with MM rando and kind of want to do it again. Although, you know me in saying I might do MM rando. I'd love to do more ROM hacks if there were more. Like any, any decently significant OT ROM hack I'll probably play. Unless it's like a meme hack, like, like there's a, I don't know if it's truly a sequel or something to Bomiwa or like some Bomiwa like hack or something that I'm not going to play because I don't really care. But like most, most any like significant OOT hack I'm going to play. Thanks for 40 months Monday. Thanks for 28 months KDA. Thanks. Yeah, I'm glad people like the glitch exhibition video. Seemed like it was a really good thing. It was like a university lecture. It was very pog. That's an interesting sentence. You guys ever pog at your university lecture? Favorite part of the run besides Gway Hover or Water Temple? Although I'm also starting to like Shadow a lot in this. I think Shadow's really cool. I like Windmaker a lot. I think it's very good. I still need to replay Windmaker again sometime. I haven't played it in forever. Rank 3D Zeldas, OTMM, Breath of the Wild, Wind Waker and TP tie Skyward Sword. I don't hate Skyward Sword, it's just not as good as the other ones. Yeah, I, I need to play Wind Waker HD at some point, but I don't want to get out my Wii U. Why won't they just port it already? Or play Wind Waker Rando. Yeah, honestly, maybe I will at some point. I I was thinking like I wouldn't really want to play Wind Waker Rando if I haven't like played the original in so long. But I guess Winnika Rando has a lot of the quality of life improvements that, um, that HD has. Maybe I should just do it. Does Winnika Rando have an option to not randomize anything? Can I just play unrandomized Winnika Rando? Kill the story. I mean, I, I know the story. I've played it before. Yeah, I'm always gonna have 69 rupees there, because I get 99 from the bottom of the well chest. And then I buy, uh, I buy Poe for 30 rupees. The only chance I don't have 69 there is if I get a rupee from the rock next to the tree, in which case I'll have 70, but if I don't get that, then I'm always gonna have 69. Am I excited about Skyward Sword HD? I wouldn't say excited, but I'll play it. Yeah, I'll stream it. Yeah, it's nice that it'll be at 60 FPS. It actually does look pretty good at 60. You guys ever see 60 FPS Breath of the Wild uh, upscale gameplay on emulator? It looks so good. Like 4K 60, probably not 4K, but like 1440p 60 FPS. Breath of the Wild looks so good. Okay, maybe 4K. No, I still haven't been able to pre order Metroid Dread. I've been refreshing <laughs> literally since the day it was announced. I can't get nothing. I, I have not seen Metroid Dread Special Edition in stock once. Quick Bay YouTube thumbnail playing the Breath of the Wild 4K remaster. <laughs> That's one way to get a uh, hit with a Nintendo copyright strike. Is it worth buying a Switch just for Breath of the Wild? Yes, but at the same time, Bre Switch has a lot more than just Breath of the Wild. Like, Switch is actually, like, Switch actually has a pretty good library of games. Why am I hissing here? I did this before. And I'm like, don't hiss here, you stupid. It's because later in the run, I do, a, I do a Hess there in the exact same place, but I can't right now. Yeah, this is actual me. This is actually me playing right now and not, not a low TED or TAS or anything. Yeah, I was thinking recently, like, Switch's library is honestly... Might honestly have, like, one of the best libraries on any Nintendo console at this point, or at least it's getting close to it. And I hate it. I hate that I like it. Well, uh, it depends on how you want to count Wii. Like, if you count Wii, uh, like, if you count Virtual Console on Wii, then Wii is probably unbeatable. Oh, why do I hate that I like it? Because I don't want to like Nintendo. I hate Nintendo. Homeboy. I, I still love Homeboy. Don't worry. Yeah, dude, there's $60 ports. Uh, every every speedrun uses the Japanese version of this game because the Japanese text is faster. There's no glitch differences or anything. All the glitches are exactly the same in English and Japanese, but Japanese text is so much faster that it's always the version that's used for speedruns. That the second best 100% time to English is to flex. I have wondered how much time uh, English actually loses in Hundo. Maybe at some point I'd do it just for testing. Yeah, Lilo. I, I think that I want to do it just for testing and then I realize what I actually have to go through. It actually reminds me, I think one time I saw someone speedrunning TP and it was TP all cutscenes, so like you weren't allowed to skip any of the cutscenes in TP. And it ends up being like a seven hour run. 
six or seven hours. It really makes you realize how long TP is. Like, like TP and Wind Waker have similar-ish length. Like, obviously there's like an hour difference in like the no barrier skip or whatever. But still like uh, four hours, a little under four hours for Wind Waker, no barrier skip, three hours for TP. But then like Wind Waker has to watch the cutscenes and TP gets to skip all the cutscenes. Oh, you really realize TP is actually a pretty long speedrun for its length. Okay, that sounds weird. It, it's long, like, the content. There's, it's three, it's a three hour run, but it has, like, the amount of stuff in it of a longer run. It's just you get to skip all the cutscenes. Uh, so actually nothing prevents you from getting the beta Jabu heart piece. It's just that it would cost items. You'd have to give up the wrong warp to Nocturne and Jabu map, because Jabu map has the same flag as it. If it was just Jabu map, I think we might, like, have some argument for weighing the heart piece above Jabu map, but, uh, Nocturne is, you know, pretty significant. Or, we could get Nocturne and skip Lake Hylia Lab Gold Skull Scroller. So, we have to give something up to get it. Which sucks. Why can you climb that? Because that wall is marked as climbable. I don't know, it just is. My guess is that you're meant to get it before, or like, you're supposed to see it before um, you get the boomerang. So they probably thought, here, let's give them a way to get it without boomerang. Bomb drop? Well, I've gotten good bomb luck so far. Can I get good Danpei luck too? Just, I already asked Twitch. They were trying to help me, but they said they couldn't figure it out. Do you need an ESS adapter to run competitively? Um, if you were just starting out, you definitely don't need it. If you want to become good, you definitely want it. No, the SS adapter is absolutely not a matter of taste. It's 100% beneficial in every way. There's no downside to it whatsoever. And it is a pretty significant difference. If you don't use it, it's you are nerfing yourself a significant amount. Again, it's not that important if you're like new or just starting out or whatever. But if you really want to become a top runner in any longer than 15 minute category, you'll probably want it. Really staunch about not using it. I mean, I wanted to be staunch about not using it. I hate that it's a thing too, but in longer categories, you just can't not use it. Like, running Hundo... Oh, whoops, it's split. Running Hundo without an ESS adapter is absolute torture. Like, it's actually completely awful and not fun to run Hundo without an ESS adapter. Like, you can get away with it in Defeat Gan and No SRM, because... You do, what, two ESSs the whole run? Even then, it'd still help a lot. But if you have to do, like, 100 Hesses in a run and you're failing half of them because your ESS sucks, then it's really awful. How many cartridges, cartridges of OT have I owned? Four. I have owned 1.0, 1.1, and 1.2 English, and 1.0 Japanese. Yeah, I still have my original uh, MM cartridge, English MM. And a 1.0 Japanese MM that I got for running any percent. The most fantastic MM category. I'm worried that big one might actually be a 50. So if you get really lucky or unlucky, depending on how you look at it, um, the big fish there can actually be 50 centimeters when most of the time it's like 49 or something, between 40 and 49. And if, this, if the fish you use for gold scale early is 50 or higher, then you actually get locked out of the heart piece. So if you get really lucky or unlucky and you get an unusually big fish for that one, you can actually get locked out of the heart piece. And the other fish there was seemed unusually big, so I was worried that it was going to be a 50. No, not playing casually. Only if you do the gold scale early glitch. Yeah, it's called the runner guy at GDQ. Yeah, runner guy, I got that at uh, a GDQ 2013, an ancient GDQ. And we actually didn't think it was possible before that. We thought that you couldn't get locked out of the heart piece, and then we learned there. No, Singing Lure doesn't count. Singing Lure, one, doesn't go into your inventory, and two, resets after you leave the fishing pond, so it can't be a permanent item anyway. You'll never keep it permanently, because as soon as you leave the fishing pond, you lose it. 
Does Run have way more harder tricks? Yeah, this is one of the hardest categories, if not the hardest category in OG. Got us on the YouTube videos. Yeah, I I did. I had to opt out of YouTube's unlisted videos thing. If you guys haven't heard, YouTube is doing this dumb policy change where like unlisted videos before 2017 are gonna be set to private, and that's gonna like destroy a very large amount of OOT history that is locked behind unlisted videos. And that's why videos shouldn't be unlisted, you stupid idiots. Blinny, stop posting unlisted videos. Yeah, I mean, at least I, I don't think Blinny's videos are going to go away because I think his probably aren't before that time. And even then, he has an active account, so if he did have ones from earlier, then he could just opt out. But there are plenty of accounts that there are plenty of like people that are no longer active that have unlisted videos up that will probably never touch their YouTube account again and those unlisted videos are going to go away forever. But we probably need to like, we should probably start looking for all the important unlisted videos and like backing them up before they get uh, privated. Yeah, and Twitter videos. Ace, hey, you're in the Paper Mario. Dude, I can't wait for the OOT Paper Mario run at SGDQ. That'll be... I'm really interested to see people's reactions to that. Fix my internet. I try, dude. I, I have to yell at them like once every few months and then they say they fix it and it seems to work fine for like two weeks and then it breaks again. I don't know what to do. I tried like seeing if there was fiber in my area that I can switch to and there's not. I don't know what to do. I'm a victim of the internet ISP monopoly where I don't have any other options and this is my best the best I can do. Switch to YouTube Gaming. Okay. Arizona Public Access TV. Sure, I'm sure that'll do it. Cool. Cool. It also looks like they're not fixing the text, like how the text in Skyward Sword scrolled horribly slowly. It looks like they're not changing that, which is terrible. No, even with the FPS change, it's not faster. Uh, Jim, Jimnist even noted, like, he did a video going over the trailer, and he even noted, like, in the original, it's one frame, or it's one character every frame, and now it's one character every two frames. So, yeah. I should probably stop talking during this. No. I thought that was the wrong frame. Nope. That's mm, seven or nine minutes lost. I didn't save after six, did I? That's like ten minutes lost, I think. Yeah, that's a ten minute time loss. Oh, and the input viewer just broke too. Yeah, the machine's broken because the run is broken because I just lost ten minutes. I just lost a lot of time. But yeah, that's probably it. Alright, I'll show something that I was going to show in that glitch exhibition thing that I forgot to show off. You guys want to see something cool? It's not actually that cool. It's just kind of silly. There. Oh wow, it doesn't even show the animation of him taking off the mask. Interesting. Oh, now I can take it off. Huh, that's strange. Huh, when I take out stick... Whether or not I'm wearing the mask doesn't change. If I put away stick, I can put on and off the mask. Fascinating. Well, anyway, um, I can't really do another run, so I don't know what else to do. That's what kind of sucks about running this, is that if a run dies, I kind of just don't have anything else to do. No, I will not do a Fortnite speed run. No, I will not play Mario Kart. Give med. Okay, someone send me a ZFG mad gif of like it shaking and then I'll add it as a gif emote. Okay, should be up in a few minutes or less. No, I will not speedrun Undertale. There it is, okay. The new emotes are pretty fast now. I think this up, I'm a goat bar. Shaking to the tune of the babas. I think it could use a bit more shaking. Maybe we can like change it up to shake more. Why not any percent speedrun? Because any percent is a trash speedrun. Okay, but yeah, um, I'm done for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you later. Bye bye.